Python tutorial Sharp Ratio Performance Metric. Portfolio performance metrics consist of portfolio expected or realized risk premium by unit of risk. This topic is part of advanced portfolio analysis with Python Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of training or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Sharp ratio consists of portfolio expected or realized risk premium by unit of risk. For full reference, I recommend that you read William Sharp, The Sharp Ratio, published in the Journal of Portfolio Management in 1994. As a formula, first we have here the ex ante or expected sharp ratio of portfolio returns, which is equal to, and within the numerator, we have the expected risk premium, in which that risk premium is the difference between the portfolio returns minus the risk free rate return, which is then divided by the expected risk premium standard deviation, standard deviation with the Greek letter sigma. Then we have the ex post or realized sharp ratio of portfolio returns, which is equal to, and within the numerator, we have the portfolio returns mean minus the risk free rate return mean, which is then divided by the risk premium standard deviation. Notice that within these formulas, we can use instead of risk free rate return, we can use a benchmark rate of return. If the risk free rate return is not constant through time, and here we have as an example the formulas for the ex post or realized sharp ratio of portfolio returns, therefore equals to, and within the numerator, we have the portfolio returns mean minus the risk free rate return mean, which is then divided by the risk premium standard deviation, again risk premium as a difference between portfolio returns minus the risk free rate return. If the risk free rate return is constant through time, then the portfolio return sharp ratio is equal to, and within the numerator, we have the portfolio returns mean minus that constant risk free rate return, and then divided by the portfolio returns standard deviation. And last, if we assume for simplicity purposes a 0% risk free rate, then the portfolio returns sharp ratio is equal to, and within the numerator, we have the portfolio returns mean divided by the portfolio returns standard deviation. Great, so let's go into Python PyCharm IDE so that we can study sharp ratio with greater detail. Excellent. So here we are within Python PyCharm IDE. In this tutorial, we'll be working within Python tutorial sharp ratio performance metric code file. So the first step within the tutorial is to do packages importing. So we're going to import NumPy SMP and then pandas SPD. The following step is we're going to do our data reading. For this, we create a variable named returns, which is equal to pd or pandas.read underscore csv, and within it we have the path to the data file, bound within data directory and the name of data file, which is sharp ratio performance metric data, as a plain text file with .csv or comma separate values. Index column as date, and we parse those dates as true. So let's go ahead and open that data file. Within it, we have, as mentioned, a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values, and we have two columns of data. The first of this dates, and we can see date with monthly frequency from the beginning of 2007 all the way to the end of 2016, therefore 10 years of data. And then we have that SPY column, which includes the SPY adjusted close prices arithmetic returns, in this case with that monthly frequency, therefore monthly arithmetic returns. SPY corresponds to the ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the standard Poor's 500 index and adjusted close prices, which were adjusted for dividends and splits. So back into the code file. Once we've read the data, we can proceed with the calculation of the sharp ratio performance metric. So we're going to print sharp ratio performance metric of those SPY monthly arithmetic returns. Then we're going to print a blank space. And next we're going to print, and as we have monthly arithmetic returns, therefore the calculation of a monthly sharp ratio, and here we're doing the assumption of a 0% risk free rate. We're doing this as an educational example for simplicity purposes, therefore it is not fixed and it can be modified according to your needs. Therefore the calculation done with MP, that's NumPy round, 
hexadecimal places and within it we have. From that returns variable we create a bob, we select its SPY column and we calculate with dot mean. And then we divide that by returns, again we select SPY column and we calculate dot STD or its standard deviation. Excellent. So let's go ahead and run this code file. When you're doing it for the first time, you click the right button on the mouse in any part of the code and scroll down and run the code file. But as I've run the code file before, it's already stored right here. So I go ahead and select it and click run. Excellent. So we see right here within the console, the result being printed. So we have the sharp ratio performance metric for SPY monthly arithmetic returns, therefore a monthly sharp ratio, assuming a 0% risk-free rate, again, for simplicity purposes, it's an educational example, which is not fixed and it can be modified according to your needs. And there we have the result of the sharp ratio performance metric calculation. Excellent. So now that we've finished studying sharp ratio performance metric calculation, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't consider any type of trading or investment advice. Please pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.